Hello and welcome to Total War Warhammer. I have a another 2v2 against a side and unknown uh whatever his number is. Um it's really fun getting to play against these two because they know each other and they cooperate really well. I don't know if they're in the same room when they when they play, but they work together really well. And I know they played Attila together and the Swampy Games as well. So, um, it is a Chaos in Bretonia versus a Dwarven Empire. And uh, our opponents were focusing on on train on gunpower you can see four handgunners up front and four thunders in the front on the dwarfs and you can see four outriders for the empire which is a lot of gunpowder when you when, when you think about it and I don't really have any me shield troops and these chaos warriors are just getting getting absolutely owned by this Oregon gun I also brought a Chaos Dragon to the field, which looks very terrorizing. And on the flanks I have, uh, on the flank, I have Chaos Spawn wrapping around, who look even more disgusting than the, than the Chaos Dragon, anyway. So, uh, I think this is Sod. He brought up Hammers in the, in the front, which is a very good choice because they have a, they have an extremely good charge. And it's gonna be tough for me to get through them. On second thoughts, I, I should have brought up my Gorby's Chariot first. And now the the Chaos Dragon descends. And what's really cool is it has tendrils beneath it when it lands, just uh, kind of like uh, the Sinch Lord of Change or the Demon of Change, uh, the Ever Watcher or something. So uh, the the Bretonian players. Not doing so great because he's he's uh, he's just getting a firing from all the handgunners very very soon. But he is catching these outriders quite well. But yeah, you, you can see the the bullets. Even the heaviest knight armor cannot withstand the bullets. Yeah, there's just lines and lines of gunpowder but he's obstructing the view of himself yeah so now uh, I send in the Gorby's chariots and over here on the flanks I have the the chaos spawn running in but he is he's doing quite well in positioning the slayers and uh, they are cutting up these these chaos spawn right here but I have I have many chaos spawn going coming through but these hammers are just extremely good melee, and uh, they're, they're the only offensive tool the the dwarves have. But the Garby's chariot is 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 running uh, rampant through his lines. Uh, the Bretonian's player is not not doing so hot. He hasn't even engaged the the front line. But I have the chaos spawn in the in the backs of these these dwarves. But they are, they are not going down without a fight. Even the Gorby's Chariot is, is, is coming through. Sideswiping. And of course, in the in the thick of it, we have Ungram Iron Fist. With a... Is that a, That's probably like Dragonhide on his back or uh, some cool monster that he's fought in his, for his cape. They're starting to, starting to waver, but he, uh, aside, cleverly puts... Uh, stand the ground at just the right moment. So then I start pulling through this chaos spawn to to attack these dwarfs over here, which are still putting up resistance. But um, Bretonia definitely should have won the uh, the air battle, but they didn't. It was it was quite uh, a risk to put Karl Franz and two paladins in the air. But here is uh, my 
because Balthazar Gelt was so cool in the last battle, I brought a Metal Wizard for this battle. But Ungrim, he is doing some serious damage to my, to my guys. And I don't know what happened there. Was... Uh, was it was it the Thunders that, that took down my guy? Yeah, I, I didn't know what happened in the real battle either. But, uh... That's not very good that when my lord goes down. We, we try uh, trapping Carl Franz here. And, uh... Chaos spawn are not very good against large units, they're good against the infantry. But now it turns into a route for for our troops. Bertoni has some troops left, but it's it's not enough to take on all of this. So yeah, as I said, Assad and Unknown uh, make a, a very good uh, team, and they've practiced together, so they know they know how it works. We almost got Carl Franz, but he, he survives to live another he uh, to fight another day. Um. Yeah, Bretonia just doesn't want to give up. I'm completely dead at this point. So yeah, I have a few more 2v2s with Assad uh, to show you guys. And uh, I, I, I like showing my losses more than I like showing my wins because uh, when, I, when I lose, I play to my full extent. And when I win, it's not necessarily the case. I might be... I might be just crushing a noob. So when I lose, it, it, it's really... I, I like posting those better. Because you, you learn more when you lose. Although my, my teammate wasn't that great. Anyway, see you next time.